morning, superstars. Mwah! Firstly, I want to thank absolutely every single one of you. I have been blown away by the love and support and care and just beautifulness of you amazing community. I knew you were amazing. I knew you were beautiful. I knew you were kind and loving and just the most extraordinary human beings on the planet. But the fact that you, um, you know, you've really shown that, that will be all your comments, all your emails, all your private messages, so, so, so much love. So thank you very much. Today's segment is Dressage Mastery TV, which you guys know, um, but obviously I'm not gonna be doing it. So I just wanted to let you know a little bit more about Alicia and why I think she's qualified to help you guys with your dressage journey. Basically be trusted to answer your questions, help you with your dressage and um, get you guys to where you need to go. So I've known Alicia, I think five or six years now. I always think when I think of Alicia, I've never met someone who I'm alike with in some regard and completely opposite with in other regards. The thing we bonded about was this shared obsession and this shared goal to go to the Olympics. So um, we've always been helping each other with that goal and she definitely um, opened up some kind of opportunities I had never considered. Maybe we should share Grand Prix horses and maybe we should share horses and share things and I was like, oh no, you know, in the horse world, you don't share horses. And especially you don't share Grand Prix horses and you don't share experiences like that. I don't think it could ever have worked with anyone besides her and I, but Wessel, who you know I rode in Australia for a bit, Alicia rode in England and Wessel also got sent back to England to hang out um, with her. So we've, we've shared Wessel for a good number of years, thanks to the amazing support of the most brilliant, beautiful Kylie in the world. But uh, riding Wessel was, you know, a dream come true for me. He was black, so of course, dream come true. He really showed me what it was like to ride a warm blood, a warm blood that trotted like that, and I had a lot of success and a lot of fun with him. Then we also had jives. So Jive, Alicia rode for a year, um, training on the Grand Prix stuff, because um, he's he's an older horse, and I was 17 when she had him, and then I had him as an 18-year-old schoolmaster, and then he's come down here, and I'm like, whoa! And she always said, you know, Jive is the next level, and I was like, oh yeah, bring it. I'm so ready for next level. Next level was pretty full on. Um, I didn't have huge success with him. He was very next level is all I have to say. But now he's gone to someone else to help their dreams come true. One thing we're always really aligned about is helping other people's dreams come true and helping them reach their riding goals and helping them achieve their riding results. She's also um, very, I've never met someone so black and white, definitely with the rules. If the rule is don't separate your hands, She's got this innate ability to not separate her hands. Whereas I'm like, yeah, is it a rule or is it just a guideline? And if I'm losing my balance or if I'm thinking that the horse is gonna spook, I'm gonna move my hand. Um, so I'm very fluid, I'm very, there's no such thing as rules, more guidelines. And um, she's very, she lives in a black and white world where you do things or you don't do things or if a coach has told you X, you do X. I would say a huge amount of her success has come from this. The uh, experience that she's got and the, the riding knowledge that she has is, is huge value. She's been trained by very, very good people. She knows her theory inside out. She's got funny little things that I'm sure she'll tell you about, about how to tell the right angle of your shoulder in and how to tell, um, you know, if, if the nose is straight and how to tell, you know, we're gonna look at the ears and check that they're exactly on the same vertical plane. Um, so she's got lots of cool tricks and ticks to um, help you guys succeed with your dressage. I'm excited. I'm excited for you to um, have a different perspective. I've been sharing with you guys for so many years, you know, my map of how I got the results that I got. And um, Alicia's is just a different perspective and a different area to get to, to go to where she went to. So she's a Grand Prix dressage rider. She's, you know, told me to definitely say she doesn't, you know, she's like, oh, but I'm, I'm, I'm not an Olympian. I'm not, I'm not the greatest rider in the world. I want everyone to know that, that I make mistakes as well. She definitely does, as we all do. We just welcome and are excited that we can share, you know, just because someone's not the very best in the world, doesn't mean that they don't have something of offer. I always think um, when you've been riding even a year, you have huge value to add to someone who's never ridden before. So I trust you guys are excited as I am. There's so many cool dressage and everything videos coming. So make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you hit the subscribe button, you will get notified when any new dressage video is coming out. So you never miss the knowledge you need to take your dressage journey to the next level. Hit subscribe now.